Hey there! Welcome to tutorial number 4 of the Easy jQuery series, part of easyprogramming.net. In the last tutorial, we looked at some basic event handler methods in jQuery. Today we're going to focus on just one event method, but show you how you can listen to, for every event using just this one method. This is the on event method. We're going to pretty much recreate everything we did in the last tutorial with this one on event method. Uh, it's easy and powerful, and it's newer than the event methods that we looked at last time, and we'll see more of its power in the next tutorial. So the onEvent method works just like every other event method in jQuery. You start out with a selector and dot on, and in parentheses you put in your uh, arguments that you pass into the on uh, event method. So it, it'll look something like this: selector dot on an event, like what kind of event? Uh, I have some examples here: blur, click, key down, hover, focus. There are others. The second parameter, which is optional, is the delegated selector. You're probably wondering why is there two selectors, one here and one here. Uh, in the next tutorial, come back, I'll show you exactly how event delegation works with the on event method. The third argument that's being passed is data. You can pass in custom data into the on event method and do stuff with it. This is also optional. And finally, the callback function, which is what we've done in the last tutorial where the only argument that a, a click or a blur or a key down method looks at is a callback function. And that's what we'll use here. So we'll only use the required arguments in this tutorial and move further. So in this tutorial, we'll recreate everything we did last time. So what I have here in my jQuery, I remember to select jQuery. I'm still on 3.2.1 uh, at the time of this recording. You can choose your latest one. and. I have a function here, it's called button click, and it does an alert button has been clicked. It's the same function from last time, so I'm not going to rewrite it. So what will happen is that when you click on click me, it'll alert. So let's start writing our events using the on event method. So first we'll do is we'll target the button, which has an ID of btn, btn dot on instead of dot click like we did last time, we'll do the first argument we're passing is click. You can do double quotes or single quotes. And we need a callback function. So you can write the function in here at, like this, or you can refer to a callback function listed elsewhere in your program. That's what we're doing called button click. So when the button is clicked, it'll call back to a function called button click and the alert will go off. It's pretty simple, so let's run it. I'll click here, click me, it says button has been clicked pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And it's not much different from what we did last time, except that with the on event method, you can pass in more things, and we'll cover that in the next tutorial. Let's recreate some of the other ones. We also did, uh, I'll use single quotes today. We also did input dot on key up, where we're looking to do something with the, the input here, with the key up uh, event. And we'll write the function here. So with the function, remember, I, I close it whenever I can so that I don't forget later. And we'll write to our result span IDs here. So we'll do results dot text. Um, sorry, p dot val. So we're going to get the value from the text box. Uh, on key up, so as soon as I stop typing, as soon as I let go of the key, it'll start typing, it'll start copying what I have in the results span tag. So let's just update and run it. So if I start typing in uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, as soon as I let go, it'll type. So I'm holding it down now, so it's just copying 1, right? And then I went to 2, so I let go of 1 and it went to 2. There we go. So it's just one long thing. So now if I get rid of it, it goes away. Let's create the next one, which I did was key down, I believe. And p dot on key down function and we'll do uh, result two uh, as we call this pretty straightforward and then we'll do text dot inp dot val pretty straightforward and this one will do it, uh, will copy the text over as my key is pressed. So when I put on click one, well, I made a mistake. If you notice that uh, it says test. 
So if I open up my element inspector, uh, you'll see that it says uncaught type error. Test is not a function. Uh, well, duh. So you're supposed to do text. Uh, if you're using an, uh, an IDE uh, like uh, WebStorm, it will tell you before you even do anything. So let's run it. There you go. When I click, it writes to result two. When I let go, it writes to result one. And there's usually one more because of, of just how the key down and key up works. Uh, let's recreate the next one, which I did was blur, uh, which is when you leave a an input uh, HTML element. So we'll do imp.on. This is just to practice the blur in this function. Uh, we'll do uh, this time. Let's just log it to the console. I think that's what I did last time. We'll do uh, imp dot val. Whoops. Struggling here today. Dot val. There we go. For this, I'll need an online inspector. Again, you can right-click inspect anywhere, uh, bring it up, test is not a function, I'll just clear that. I'll run it. So now I do stuff, stuff is happening. And then when I click on this, it'll alert as well as trigger the blur, the on blur event. So when I click on this, you can see here it says input that val is not a function. Well, I did something wrong. Yes, there you go. Forgot a parenthesis. Put it in the wrong place. How you learn JavaScript console is magic. So typing here, click here, button has been clicked. Uh, yeah, at fad fad festival. There you go. Resemble. So the on event method is pretty uh, similar to what we did before, except it gives you more flexibility, and I'll show you more of this flexibility in the next tutorial. Uh, the last thing we're going to cover in this tutorial is the off uh, event method, which pretty much says that you can remove an event handler from a selector you can put in you can pass in parameters as well so you can target just some uh pieces um you can read more on that on the, J on the jquery api documentation but for now let's just do a quick simple tutorial uh, a quick simple uh task and get rid of the the click or get rid of everything on the button after we do let's say on blur so we'll do button dot off this is, this is all this is it does takes parameters but uh, I'm not gonna cover that in this tutorial if you have questions if you want to see some of these tutorials you can uh, but uh, we're not doing uh, anything too complex so once I run this so if I click on it it still has the alert event uh, as soon as I type it has it but as soon as I move out when I do blur so I clicked out of it Right, if you look at the JavaScript console, it did put in like the dab, uh, whatever it is. And then if I click on click me, nothing is happening because this has now been undone because I left the input uh, text box here. Uh, so you're probably wondering when would I ever want to get rid of an event, an event handler. So let's say you're, you've reached the, you know, you're, you're creating a web browser game and you've reached the end and you don't want people to be able to go back and, and click around. You can just do off on everything and it'll remove all the events for uh, whatever elements that you have on your web page. Just one example. Uh, I would recommend going on the uh, jQuery uh, documentation here on the on events method and get some more information on how this works. Come back in the next tutorial and I'll show you how the how delegation works, um, including passing data. And this page doesn't have a list of all of the events that you can use on with the on event method. So the trick is to go into the, uh, the events page and look at the types of event methods that are available. So like, uh, like double click, you can do dot double click or you can do on. Uh, and pass and double click as the first argument and it does the same thing and there are you can use more uh, pretty much all of these uh, I don't think there are any that you can that won't work um, well thank you for watching this jQuery tutorial I hope you've enjoyed this one if you have any questions please ask in the comments below or on easyprogramming.net I'm always open to feedback so let me know if I can improve anything if you don't like this video feel free to give it a thumbs down um, but I would really appreciate feedback to go along with it. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.